I'm Lisa. I'm 22 years old. Today, I will share an inclusive story in my cafe. I love coffee, so I opened a coffee in my hometown because I hope everyone can feel at home. This coffee, beyond serving great coffee, is a hub of inclusivity. Designing the cafe with accessibility in mind, I wanted to be a cozy and welcoming place for everyone. I had picked a diverse team, making sure the staff represent, represented the varied backgrounds of our customers. When Sarah, a barista with hearing impairment, joined Join us. We embraced the opportunity to learn basic sign language together. This is very cool because our staff are from different country and they have different background. And I, the Chinese girl, and the, like my staff, some have come from Vietnam, some come from Thailand, and we share our different, and we share our story together. In my cafe, the menu celebrates the flavors of different cultures, offering treats from various culinary traditions. The wall of cafe showcases local artwork like china and some wood is very special, a vibrant reflection to our community. I still remember one day that's very impressed. One day, a group of teenagers, including her name is Ryan, he is in a wheelchair, walked in. Immediately, we ensured the space is, is that was accessible and uh, rearranging on tables to meet Ryan's need. As they joined, they enjoyed the coffee, they noticed a board for notes expressing the notes. Inspired, they left their own notes, committing the cafe for creating a space where everyone feels valued. Maverick has, <laughs> has come to life. The cafe is more than just a place to grab a cup of coffee. It's a symbol of daily life where individuals from all walks of life come together share stories and celebrate the richness of our difference. The cafe thrives not only as business, but as treatment to transformative power of inclusion in our daily lives.